Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to take a look at apps and programs in Windows 10 particularly how to know the app and program size so that you know how much space each apps and programs use on your computer especially if you have a small uh, you know laptop like a um, tablet type PC a lot of these little tablets have very small drives I've got one which is a Windows tablet with only a 16 gigabyte SSD drive on it. Uh, so, you know, it's important to know how much space each programs and apps use. And also, one new feature and interesting feature of Windows 10 is the fact that programs and apps can be installed from the same panel. Uh, in Windows 8, you had to go, you know, you had apps and you had programs. And you'd go into the control panel and the programs and features to uh, uninstall the programs and you would go into another panel if you wanted to see and uninstall apps. So in Windows 10 of course the easiest thing you can do for uninstalling an app is just clicking on the app itself so when you go into a uh, the, the programs and apps for example all apps of course if you click or right click on an app you already have the uninstall button there but if you want to know the space if you want to know and see what you have that you can have uninstalled, what you can do is go into the notifications on the bottom right, go into all settings. On the upper left, you'll see system, and finally apps and features. Here, by default, it is sorted by size, which is very often the, you know, the default you want to have. So here you have a clear view of how much space each app uses. For example, I've got a big game called Asphalt Eight Airborne. That's 2.14 gigabytes here. So it tells you the date that you've installed it, and also, or more of the date that it had updates, basically, and also um, the size. And when you click an app, it also gives you the uninstall button. Now notice here the move button, grayed out move button. This button right now is unavailable. But in the October Threshold 2 update, I suspect that this is going to be available. So if you have a, a device, a small device that doesn't have much disk space, you'll actually be able to move apps to an SD card, for example. That's going to be really nice for people that don't have a lot of space, like my little Windows tablet. I will, of course, have fun installing apps on the SD card to save space on the main drive. Now, you see that in this list, not only apps are there, all programs also, as you see here, Mozilla Firefox 40, which is a desktop program or desktop app, as they call them, is here. And you can click the uninstall button and the uninstaller is going to appear from here. Sometimes it does bring you to the programs and feature panel in the control panel, but most of the time it can actually start the uninstall process from here. So you don't have to go into two different panels to find apps and programs and uninstall them. Of course, other options you have, you can search for an app by its name. You can also sort by size, name or install date. For example, if you install something in the last weeks and you're wondering uh, where it is, don't remember a name for some reason, you can click by install date and check what you installed recently. And an example here that's interesting is today, uh, August 18, we had updates on the app. So you see that the date is for the updates. So for example, today Groove Music, Film and TV, Alarm and Clock, all of that updated. And um, it now gives an install date of 18 August. So um, you got to be careful about that though, because it can uh, easily mix up if you check by install date. Now some programs might not have sizes. So for example, if I go real um, in the, the lower of my list here, uh, you'll see that uh, a lot of programs that I've installed don't actually have uh, any available space so you don't really know how much space they actually take so it's gonna happen mostly with programs because apps pretty much report all the size all the time but it is possible that some programs will not have the available space that they take but most of them will so it's an easy place to go where you can actually just, you know, um, go in and uninstall an app or a program from the same panel and also 
have a quick view of how much space each program actually use on your hard drive. You can also go to the search on the bottom left if you want and if you type uh, features or apps uh, you'll, you should have the apps and features show up in the search and give you the possibility to come here quickly. But um, you can of course go like we did, notifications, all settings, system and app and features. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, let us know. Hopefully you enjoy our videos. Uh, we'll have tons of videos coming up soon, so why not stay with us and uh, enjoy learning more about news, programs, apps, and also Windows 10 in general. So thank you for watching.